All right, now I'm going to give an example of where <coughs> you might think you're in a situation where you have a, a bug plus one, but you actually don't. So I'll show you the same concept applies. You're going to be at a uh, situation where every remaining cell has a pair of numbers except for one cell. So if you look at this whole board, every single cell out here that hasn't been solved yet has a pair of numbers except for this one. But where this situation differs from the previous one I explained is before, if we were in a situation like this, we could look at all the numbers that are left in the row where this triple exists, and we could eliminate one number, and then that would satisfy the filling of pairs across the row. But if you look at the situation we're in right now, there's only one cell where a one exists and there's a pair there's there's no other like these other cells here there's no other cell that has a one in it same thing with the six there's only one cell out of these ones that actually have pairs that has a six in it and same thing with the four this is the only cell where there's a four and a pair so in this situation there's no number that we could eliminate that would satisfy the pairing of numbers the way we did with the previous example. So in this situation you you have no number you can rule out so you have to use a different technique to get through this and I will actually um, have a explanation that I'll explain that will cover what you do with this particular board when you thought you were in a bug plus one scenario and then it turns out you weren't um, and the uh, the actual method that we would use to get out of this situation we're in right now is is called a pseudoco. Uh, maybe I didn't say that properly, um, but it's spelled S U E D E C O Q. Um, and again, I'll, that's a technique I'll talk about later. But right now, just know that that's the difference between a bug plus one or not a bug plus one scenario.